Welcome back to Half Moon's Picks. Week 13 in the NFL is already here. It's hard to believe most of the season is gone. Only a good month and a half of football left. Uh, let's make the best of it and the most of the money as we can. Last week I went 9 and 2. Pretty good. Check out my last two, three videos on YouTube as I gave you great winners last week on Thanksgiving and the Sunday's picks last week. Uh, <clears throat> The, the two games I think I lost was the Pittsburgh game. You know, I'll talk about that later. Uh, and the Philadelphia Chicago game, which uh, that's a, a, I told you on Twitter to pick the over. As uh, they rested their starters after blowing out Chicago last week. Uh, what can you do? I got more on that as well. Uh, let's just dive into some news before I get into the picks. Um, the news, uh, Washington-Dallas game, Thursday night. This Thursday. You know, I'm leaning towards Washington. The, the, but it's a pretty much cutthroat game. Losers pretty much out. If Washington wins, Philadelphia uh, should clinch that division. Uh, so, be careful. I'm betting the uh, Philadelphia game at Seattle uh, since they told me when they rested their starters in the second half of that uh, Chicago game, a lot of starters, not all of them, but a lot of them, are worried about injury going into the postseason. Uh, they might be resting some starters in Seattle um, this week if Washington wins. So you got something you got to be careful on, just letting you know ahead of time. Uh, I hate that you lose some money on, on something uh, bad like that. Uh, let's see. Now, uh, more news. Uh, San Francisco may start Garoppolo. Uh, I know uh, Berthart got kind of injured last week. Uh, so, careful on that. They're going to announce that on Wednesday. Today's Tuesday. Uh, so, I don't know that news. And I'm staying away from that game. Uh, and other games to stay away from. Uh, Denver, Miami. Uh, Tampa Bay, Green Bay. I don't know if uh, Winston's coming back or not. Uh, Green Bay with that new offense, I was telling you in Twitter, uh, they're practicing the long, uh, medium-sized passes. We're good against Pittsburgh, uh, but uh, Pittsburgh plays down to their uh, level. Uh, and uh, see, stay away from the Giants-Oakland game. And it's a big spread. Uh, Giants defense is starting to look better, uh, and Oakland not so much. Uh, and San Francisco at Chicago, two teams that are out of the playoffs. Oh, who knows on that game? And neither team has any kind of offense. Um, and my new format, I'll be coming out Wednesday. I mean, uh, uh, Tuesdays after um, the Monday night game. So I got a new schedule at work. No, I'm not a famous YouTube uh, star that makes all kinds of money. I'm here to make money on gambling. So. Uh, it's just me and my old school tablet here, uh, just to bring you some picks. So let's get these picks started and uh, the show on the road. My fourth pick of the week, my upset pick of the week, we got the Kansas City Chiefs traveling to the New York Jets. The New York Jets are a three and a half point dog at home. The Kansas City Chiefs, um, favored in their last two games, have lost both games outright. They lost in New York to the New York Giants, and they lost at home against Buffalo. Last week I told you to pick Buffalo, not because Buffalo is a great team, it's just Kansas City Chiefs have pretty much fallen apart. Uh, they can't get anything going. They're running trick plays to try to get anything going on offense whatsoever. Uh, the New York Giants are, I mean New York Jets, I did that last week too. New York Jets are 6-2-1 ATS uh, and 6-1 ATS at home. So this week I'm telling you to pick New York Jets plus three and a half. My third pick of the week is the LA Rams traveling to the Arizona Cardinals. The LA Rams are a seven point favorite and pretty much uh, my third ranked team overall in the whole NFL. Um, 
that's my opinion. <laughs> the, the Rams are looking pretty good. They won against New Orleans last week uh, at home. Here they are facing a divisional team uh, by a touchdown. The, uh, the Rams are 5-1, and one, ATS in their last six. Uh, they are ranked number four offense with the number 17 defense. Uh, both of them coming off a win last week. Uh, the Rams keeping ahead, need to stay ahead of the Seattle Seahawks who seem to be on a win streak themselves. So take LA Rams minus seven. My right, number two pick of the week, we got the Pittsburgh Steelers traveling to the Cincinnati Bengals. Pittsburgh Steelers are a six point favorite. And I think, I hope, that I've, I've narrowed how Pittsburgh works. Pittsburgh has three modes. The mode where they're playing a great offensive playoff team. They will study the film, coach, you know, and work really hard. Uh, and play that team at the greatest point. Like Tennessee, you know, they'll play like Kansas City. Anybody team in the division, you know, the Patriots. Mode number two is the mode where that team is not, that they're playing is not in the playoffs. As to Green Bay Packers, Indianapolis Colts. So they, I believe, won't practice well, don't study much, just run the standard, you know, playbook. And then they'll end up throwing, you know, interceptions and dropping balls. Then you got the number three Pittsburgh Steelers, in this case, a divisional team, where they'll study the, their last film of their divisional foe, and they know them extremely well and play them extremely good. So, um, like I said, Pittsburgh's 4-0 against Cincinnati in the last four meetings, 11-2-1 uh, and one ATS in the last 13 meetings against Cincinnati uh, and 4-2 and two ATS overall. So I'm telling you to pick Pittsburgh minus 6. And my number one pick of the week, we got the New England Patriots traveling to the Buffalo Bills. The New England Patriots are a 9 point favorite. Uh, New England is 5-0 in the ATS in the last five games. 12 and 1 uh, in their last 13 games, uh, 7 and 1 ATS on the road, and 4 and 1 ATS in Buffalo. Pretty much, you got a 20% chance of not getting this bet. Uh, they, the last three meetings in Buffalo, they won by 16, by 12, and by 15. New England's on a hot streak, leading that division. They love to take all the wins from their division. Usually, they're six and zero every year in the division. Usually, at least five and one. Um, so they own the Buffalo in Buffalo every year. So take New England minus nine. Well, that wraps it up for week thirteen. My teaser picks will be right here. Um, last two weeks teasers there's only one team that, that got, I went on a big winning streak and the last two weeks is one team that uh, just didn't pan out for me this week I'm gonna get it straight right there with my teaser picks and if you don't have a sports book join Bovada great great odds especially the underdog odds great numbers I've won a ton this year uh, the link is below please use me as a referral uh, I can't tell you how much that uh, means to me uh, also, in the links below is my Twitter. If you want to follow me on Twitter, it's Half Moon Er, the number two. Uh, I give out picks as well. Leans usually on Thursday and Monday, uh, but I gave them in this video, so you don't have to ask me on who do I think is going to win. But if you have another game that you're unsure about, I will message you back and let you know what I think. Uh, also, great prognosticators in the links in the description below. Check out their videos check out their Facebook as well. I'm on there. I talk about uh, games on Sunday all day long. Can't get enough. And I will see you there. Peace.